For homeowners, a burst pipe could lead to a whole other problem, insurance claims. Weaving through the intricacies of your policy, that can be daunting. Locally, luckily, Luke Jones is here with tips for getting those insurance claims flowing. Luke. Well, first, the good news, Kyle. Your insurance should cover any water damage from burst pipes, but you're not completely in the clear. You will have to pay your deductible, and you'll also have to pick up the cost of replacing the pipes themselves. Wow! It's a sight Look at this. Look at that. no one wants to see. Water cascading into homes because of burst pipes, or in this case, a caved-in roof. The water does a lot of damage. And Doris Gibbons knows better than most just how costly that damage can be. And these are expensive claims to clean up. They're not little things. She sells home insurance policies for American Family Insurance in Harrison. Damage from a burst pipe... That falls under your sudden and accidental provision. So sudden and accidental is always covered under insurance 99.9% .9 of the time. But there are some instances where your claim might be denied. They might not cover that if you didn't do your, your, your obligation of keeping heat maintained to a certain level. Most recommend at least 55 degrees. Okay. If your claim is approved... <laughs> The insurance company will work directly with repair crews to get the costs covered. But be prepared to pay your deductible. The minimum on most new policies is $1,000. You're also on the hook for damage to the burst pipe. But they would not pay for the pipe itself. They pay for the damage that it causes. But there's a lot more your insurance will cover. Things you may not even be thinking about. So if you woke up in the night and you had to start cleaning this up, they're going to pay you for those hours of the time you put in. That's why Gibbon says it's important to document everything and take lots of pictures and read your policy to see if it covers loss of use. So they're going to pay for you to go stay at a, a hotel or they're going to go, you know, maybe you can rent an apartment for a month if it's needed that long. And gone are the days when you had to wait for a claims adjuster to drop by. Gibbon says in many cases they'll let you take pictures and then approve or deny your claim based on that. Kyle. All right, Luke, thank you so much. And the average cost of one of these claims is around $10,000. That's according to the Insurance Information Institute.